Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and may peace and blessings be upon his trustworthy messenger. And since the Ummah's project, which is the Khilafah, was a heavy project in terms of the greatness of responsibility, the weight of burdens and ruggedness of the road and the abundance of enemies externally from the Kufr states and their systems and the agents the hypocrites, the ignorant and the pragmatists internally. There is also a difference in the approaches of those who have abandoned. There are those who have described themselves as moderates and there are the extremists and those who see the existing reality as an Islamic one that can be fixed with some patching. Hizb tahrir comes with an insight to the reality of the Ummah from the perspective of its ideology. It views people as Muslims, but they are ruled by Kufr. And it views the problem as the absence of the Islamic system forcibly from the life of the Ummah, and that any action targeting reform will not be effective and productive unless the Ummah possesses awareness of its deen and reality, and possesses its will to build its societal relations with the rulings of Islam emanating from the Ummah's belief. Therefore, the party set out to carry this understanding in the Ummah and work to raise awareness in the Ummah so that it takes Islam as its ideology and to work with the party to establish it in the realities of life. So the puppet rulers confronted it with torture, persecution, restriction of its livelihood, imprisonment and sometimes murder. By Allah's grace, the party remained steadfast and did not change or alter. It remained patient seeking the reward of its members from Allah and the Lord of the worlds. Following the message of the following the method of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, in change by adhering to its method to building to build a believing aware group that sets out to interact with society to strike the ideas and systems that are prevalent and to replace them with Islam. In its adherence to the method of the Prophet, the Messenger there was protection from its extinction and loss. It did not accept compromise or reconciliation with corruption. It did not accept participation in the systems of kufr so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved it from that from what happened to other people who deviated from the method of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam through interpretations and they fell into the evil of what they had done moreover the arrival of many movements to power did not actually bring about any change and did not obliterate the features of kufr when people ask why Hizb al-Tahrir, we say to them, because it does not accept any other than establishing the Khilafah as its goal. It does not accept to be part of the equations that contain agents and was formulated by Kufar, Kufar countries because it wants the Ummah to truly possess its will. It is not convinced to participate in immoral agent governments. It is firm on its method of seeking truth and innocence from the abomination of falsehood and standing in the face of the Ummah's enemies to remove from Islam the negligence, fluidity and dissolution and the exaggeration of the arrogant people. It does not accept a ruling that does not emanate from the light of Sharia. It does not fall for the illusion of honor while it is under the shade of humiliation. And because Hizb tahrir does not divide the Ummah, it does not see that it is the Isla- it, it does not see that it is the Islamic group, and whoever left it is in hell. Because of this, our choice was Hizb tahrir 
the leader that does not lie to its people. So stand with us and work for the Islamic State as it is the source of our glory and the pleasure of our Lord and our path to jihad and liberation of the land. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran Tafsir, and Sira are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.